What's going on guys? God bless you. Carl's here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Today we are working on this 2022 uh, Ford Expedition Limited. Overall the condition, you know, it's fair. Um, it's not clean clean, but it's not dirty dirty right i get a little bit of happy medium um it definitely has some areas of attention uh carpet definitely needs uh some deep cleaning and the backside has some areas that definitely need some attention it has some uh stuck on like chocolate on there so we gotta definitely <laughs> get that taken care of but really overall this vehicle is not in a bad shape uh, it's going to be receiving a interior detail and an exterior wash sadly tomorrow we have 70 percent chance of rain which is, is like those things that i like i don't like i like like washing the outside and letting it letting it look like really nice for the rest of the week right but there's rain tomorrow but the show must go on and we got to get it washed right I will probably tell the customer like, hey, I'll do just the interior uh, when the rain kind of dies out. Um, if we if you want to reschedule just the outside uh, at no cost, we can do that. Right. That way it looks clean. But who knows? I'll probably just end up washing it um, all in. So this one here right now, all my details when it's interior detailing starts at 300. Right. The cost on this one as of right now, we are at $400. Um, that's all in. Uh, interior fully detailed, steam clean, scrubbed, uh, extraction on the carpets, on the mats, exterior wash, wheels and tires. Um, that's where we're sitting at right now. Obviously, I don't like changing prices on customers because the, you've already set um, a price, right? You've already locked it in. And for me, I like to keep my um, integrity intact. <laughs> where if once I quote you the price, that's the price. If if I end up failing, you know, of really quoting the vehicle, that's on me, of course. There are scenarios sometimes where maybe customer didn't know there was maybe mold or any of those scenarios, right? <laughs> At that point, that's when I bring it up and say, hey, unfortunately, you know, from the pictures I received or anything like that, we did, we do have this so that way the price now has to be adjusted to this right at that i will do something like that right um, but for this one we are at 400 dollars for an interior detail exterior wash so let me get all set up and we'll get started one way to improve your let's just for say your speed in interior detailing repetition is key let me say that again Repetition is key. If you keep doing the same thing over and over, eventually your speed is gonna increase on your interiors, which will equal to less time doing an interior. You're still gonna get the job done, good quality on your interior, um, and more money in your pocket at the end of the day. For the new detailer that is just getting their feet wet in interior detailing and your timing is probably six hours, seven hours, or even eight hours at times to do an interior, don't worry about your time. I've been doing this for about 20 years. I started in 2001 at a car wash and really loved interiors, right? Now, this vehicle probably is going to take me about three and a half hours for this SUV at max, right? But this timing just didn't happen overnight. It took me years of practice, years of tools, of figuring out what's going to fully help me maximize my results um, without, um, you know, under um, quoting or just not giving the customer the full uh, quality if that makes sense but the customer is always going to be receiving a really top-notch service just because i can get it done in less time does not mean that i didn't do a good good job on the vehicle right 
it just takes process, repetition, and all of that. This part here, I think was like literally like my most favorite thing to clean because it was so dirty. Um, so one way uh, that I deal when working with slime or heavy buildup such as this, this was chocolate. And boy, let me tell you, I got a whiff of milk. <laughs> Obviously, because chocolate is, has milk in it, probably. Uh, so my method is always using a steamer and a towel. By using the towel, putting it inside this area here, what it does, it just creates a very steamy, uh, it's like a sauna, right? Uh, so I will steam the crap out of this and use a vortex air tool. And as you guys can see, literally, this has truly helped. And what it does is just helps you not getting messy, right? All the buildup or once this chocolate becomes more watery, you know, you're not just gonna blow out a bunch of like water. And once I finish the first process, which is the steaming, now I will clean and agitate this area here. Uh, just steaming alone did really well. Some will might leave it like that. For me, I want to make sure I use a solution uh, that's going to help me just clean this much better um, and just literally just clean it completely. One of the benefits of having an extractor is literally <laughs> this, my clothes was soaked today. So I ended up in just grabbing the extractor and extracting my clothes. So one thing I see is detailers like keep grabbing the steamer back and forth, right? To kind of eliminate that and use the benefits of your steamer, right? Do everything once and not have to go back and redo things, right? So here you see this one spot here in the carpet um, that was it's probably chocolate that was embedded on here. And towards the back of that seat, um, you will see another stain there. But while you have your steamer, guys, make sure you just go ahead and just steam the areas that are going to be very troublesome, right, to help your extraction. So for this, I'm steaming this area, wiping it off, steaming it again, just to really remove that, that, that hard stuff. And then I'm coming back with my vortex and literally just blending the carpet right back, right? And that's it. And then I will go ahead and do this spot right here where it's the same thing. It's probably just chocolate melted on there. And I will steam this area and then vortex this again. And what this does, pretty much, you don't have to um, wait for your extraction process. Some I don't know why some people do that. But in my opinion, if you already have the steamer on and everything, go ahead and just try to ease your job and make it much quicker. That way, when you extract, you don't have to worry about pulling the steamer out to help you melt this thing. Do it while you have your steamer on. Use your tools. And this will also just improve just your timing when it comes to interior details. Three hours later. Alrighty guys, and that pretty much concludes today's detail. It wasn't kind of like in there, just kind of tips and tricks on things that I do. Uh, and hopefully they help in your business, right? <laughs> Shout out to the landscape company, right? <laughs> Don't you just love them? Um, but no, God bless them. Hey, they got to do their work too, right? Um, these guys were actually pretty friendly though. They saw me working and they made sure not to get no grass or anything like blowing or anything. Uh, so shout out, shout out to that landscape company. Um, but anyways, this expedition is finally done, guys. Um, took me, it's literally one o'clock. I started at 9.30, 10, 
like three and a half hours, I think. But let's check it out, right? Overall, this vehicle was pretty dusty, guys, as you guys see in these clips next. It turned out really, really well from all the way from literally like the interior, the carpets, the leather, everything had to be uh, scrubbed down really, really good and blow, <coughs> blown out really well as well. So, I mean, really from the way it was, even all the way to the back where a lot of the, um, where a lot of the uh, chocolate was, that, that was thick, right? Um, all that came out nicely, but <coughs> really overall, this vehicle came out really, really well on the outside we just did a very basic wash using um we use uh wash chems pro 50 on the paint and see and um we use drive auto appearance on the um tires for the tire dressing it's the blue one uh, i forget it's it's the glossier one um and i topped it with uh diy uh ceramic glass uh ceramic gloss on the exterior just, just because it's gonna rain tomorrow so I really wanted to put some sort of protection on the car. Um, that way tomorrow if it rains, it'll beat up nicely for them. Uh, but that pretty much concludes today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, God bless you guys, and I'll see you on the next video.